Welcome to a lesson on Vieta's formula for quadratic equations. Vieta's formula relates the coefficients of a polynomial to the sum and product of its roots or solutions. For a quadratic equation, if alpha and beta are the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the sum s of the roots is alpha plus beta, which equals negative b divided by a, and the product p of the roots is alpha times beta, which equals c divided by a. And the quadratic equation with roots alpha plus beta can be written as x squared minus s times x plus p equals zero. Let's look at an example. We're asked to find a quadratic equation with roots one half and negative three using Vieta's formula. So let's go ahead and let alpha equal one half and beta equal negative three. Let's first find the sum s which is equal to one half plus negative three. Let's write negative three as a fraction with the denominator of one. To determine the sum, we need the least common denominator, which is two. We need to write negative three over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of two by multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. Notice now we have a common denominator of two and the numerator is one plus negative six, which is negative five. So now we know the sum s equals negative five halves. Now let's determine their product p. The product p is equal to alpha times beta, which is one half times negative three, or times negative three over one, which gives us negative three halves. And now let's find an equation using x squared minus s times x plus p equals zero. This gives us x squared minus s is negative five halves, so we have negative five halves times x, and then plus p is plus negative three halves. And this is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and simplify this equation. Remember, subtracting a negative is the equivalent to adding a positive, so this gives us x squared plus five halves x, and then adding a negative is the equivalent to subtracting a positive. Let's write this as minus three halves equals zero. So this quadratic equation does have roots of one half and negative three. But let's find an equivalent equation that doesn't contain fractions. We can clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides by two. On the left side we have two x squared plus two times five halves is five, so we have plus five x minus two times three halves is three, giving us minus three equals zero. This equivalent quadratic equation also has roots of one half and negative three. So it is important to recognize there are an infinite number of quadratic equations that have these two roots. We can create as many equations as we want by multiplying both sides of the equation by a constant. But I also want to show how we can determine a quadratic equation using the fact the sum is equal to negative b divided by a, and the product is c divided by a. So we know the sum s is equal to negative five divided by two, or negative five halves, which is also equal to negative b divided by a. And we know the product p, which is equal to negative three halves, or negative three divided by two, is equal to c divided by a. We can use these equations to determine the values of a, b, and c, and then write the equation using the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Notice both denominators are a, and both denominators of the fractions are two. This tells us that a is equal to two. Looking at this equation, notice negative b is equal to negative five, which means b equals positive five. And finally, notice here, c is equal to negative three. So now using this form of a quadratic equation, we now substitute a, b, and c. This gives us two x squared plus five x minus three equals zero, the same equation we found here on the left. I hope you found this helpful.